Okay, the first thing to do is to load Choreograph, the latest version, 1.10.10. I've got a new box called Life, which will contain all of the behaviours. Give it a crazy tooltip. And then set it to Timeline so that we can create different child boxes on different timeline layers. And then we'll link its on start input to the onload input and its on stop to the on stop output so that the behavior will be loaded and then we'll stop at the end. Create one new behavior layer called Timeline Manager. Okay, I'm going to create three different keyframes load, unload, and start. Okay, then I'm going to go back into the load keyframe and then I'm going to add a go to and stop box and that will make a jump to the start keyframe so that it will start the behavior as soon as the box is loaded. For the moment, there we are. For the moment, the unload keyframe contains nothing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add in this set defaults box that will contain everything now has to do at the start. I'll turn off the foot leads left and right and so this can show that the behavior started correctly. And this will just indicate to me that life has started. Okay. So the next thing is I'm going to add another behavior layer called the exit manager and another one called activities. Then I'll create one keyframe for each layer underneath the start keyframe. So as soon as the start keyframe is running, they'll also start. Okay, the keyframe at the bottom, solitary activities. And that will contain all the activities that now will do. Next one, which will be idle. And so the reason for that is because I want to activate the, uh, well, I want to deactivate the behavior as soon as somebody connects via choreograph. So I'll add a new little box here. And that will be a filter clients box. And that's connected to the AL memory output or trigger when a client connects. And what I want to do is edit that. So on start, set that to a string because the string is the output of the AL memory punctual so that it can be stimulated. It stimulates the output several times. And what I want to do is as soon as AL memory triggers, I want to filter it. If the client is a choreograph, so P is the input, and then I want to filter the output, I want to stimulate the output. So this will trigger the output every time a client connects from choreograph only, and I'll connect it to a go to and stop onto the idle keyframe, which will cause the behaviors to idle when a choreograph client connects. And I want to do the opposite thing on the client disconnected. Again, an, I an AL memory input called client disconnected. So as soon as the client disconnects, Again, filter only as long as a choreograph client disconnects. It will go back to solitary activities and continue now as life. Okay, now we're going on to the main bit. This will list all the behaviors. Okay, these behaviors are available through different channels. And we are we're going to add an output again, punctual. It can be stimulated several times. Okay, so what we want to do is return a box which will list all the available behaviors. So connect to AL Behavior Manager. Okay, so we want to get all the installed behaviors, except the only ones that we want are the ones which are available through channels. And these will all start with channel underscore. So we want to filter that. So we create another array, which is a subset of the original array which filters it, as you can see, if it starts with channel underscore. So this will return the behaviors array, which contains only the channel behaviors. And there we are, returns the behaviors as an array. And I want to add a timer box, so this will be triggered every minute. So it will get a list of the installed behaviors on channels every minute. And you can change that value, but we set it to 60 seconds for the moment. Oh. Oh, my colleagues have got a great sense of humor. There we are. We're going to add a periodically filter box. A 
that will filter behaviors according to their periodicity. For the moment, what I'll do is, is I'll just change this periodicity filter, and that all that will do is return one behavior randomly from the list. There we are, dynamic. What I'll do is, this is just a simplified version, we're just going to change it so that Okay, if the length is if if the length of the input array is, is, is non existent, so if well if there are fewer than one items in the array, it will return a, um, it will return nothing. And otherwise it will return a random behaviour. Or the random well a random identifier of behaviour. And we're gonna add a whole series of filters here most of which we're not going to implement at the moment. The next one we'll call a suitability filter, which would in theory filter for suitability of behaviours at a particular time. The next one we will call the favourable sort. Again, we're not implementing this, but in theory that could change behaviours as to their favourability at that time. And then this is the box which will actually run the behaviour. Again, change it to punctual so it can be stimulated several times. And then for all the behaviours which it's fed in the array, it will run them one after the other. So if there's only one, it'll run one. If there are several, it'll run several. What we're now doing is connecting to the to the actual AL behavior manager of the of the um, of the robot through AL proxy, and then on start, it will run that box. It will run the behavior rather. Connect that through all the sorts, which at the moment just feed through the same array because they're not implemented. And we're going to connect to the real robot now. Play it. Oh, there's an error. What's in there? Oh, we've gone to close the bracket, close the bracket. Let's play that now. Oh, there's another error. And let's, let's uh, import random. Good. In theory, that should work. And it all works. And you can see that now is moving. Just about. I'll blame it on the Wi Fi connection. Let's change it to. Uh, Let's change it to five seconds just for testing so we can check this is working, run it, and then bang, there we are. Now his head is moving, it's a behavior from one of the channels. And then we'll stimulate it again and choose another random set, and so on. There you go. Thanks for watching. In future videos, we're going to deal with interactivity and reactivity of now. Stay tuned.